It is the most famous love story of all time, Romeo and Juliet. Charles Gounod's sumptuous adaptation of the Shakespearean tragedy returns to the Grand Teatro del Liceo in Barcelona. It's a celebration of the 200th anniversary of the birth of the French Romantic composer. Albanian tenor Samir Pirgu and Russian operalia laureate Aida Garafulina mesmerized as the tragic lovers. All the young girls, they want to be Juliet because they, they understand this image of, of this girl like she's soft, she's fragile. Je veux vivre. <laughs> the first love. It's an allegory. It shows that she really wants to live this adult life, to be free, to do what she wants, and just to celebrate. <laughs> and there's something really naive in this aria when it's like, it's very beautiful to hear. <laughs> Magical duets, spinning waltzes, and dramatic choruses combine to create an epic backdrop to this masterpiece. The musical idiom that Guno uses ranges from the series to opera comique to almost kind of chanson. Guno writes with also a sense of very, for me, a very French irony and elegance. It's 19th century music. So we made the decision to set it in the 19th century, but we wanted to find a context for it. We thought about the American Civil War. Guno infuses the drama with ravishing melodies, all while focusing on the two lovers. He ends up by giving them a heart-wrenching final reunion in the tomb scene. Sometimes when I'm singing that scene, it's quite emotionally hard for me. And especially when I'm saying the last baiser, the, the last kiss. Romeo and Juliet's love triumphs as they die together in an immortal embrace. It's so strong, heartbreaking. She is adult enough to understand that the life is not only flowers, it can be really hard and difficult. In a real Shakespeare um, story, this last scene doesn't exist, but in the Gounod story, it gives to this opera a big power. Mm -hmm.